Welcome to this tutorial on how to remove a WordPress hack. My name is Ray Ortega and I'm the CTO and founder of Grata. And today I want to show you um, a situation that we had where our site got hacked and we had to go in there and actually change and move out some of the hack information uh, so that our site can, can be viewed by Google uh, in a positive light. So originally Google sent us a message and saying that our site was hacked recently. We went on to Google's Search Console, and I actually have the Search Console up here for you so that you can take a look at it. Search Console allows you to view your site and see how Google sees it. And Google sent us a message, and if you could see here, you could see we have so several messages, and one of them is, you know, uh, reconsider reconsiderations uh, for our site to be reviewed uh, to make sure that the hack was removed, things like that. Uh, but the biggest one here was um, the uh, hacking suspected. So hacking suspected message that we received from Google um, showed that uh, our site was hacked. And if you click on view details, it'll tell you. Hacking suspected, gradonline.com, unfortunately it appears your site's been hacked. We received this message from Google and we had to go in there and remove those hacks. And I wanted to show you and our customers how that is possible. Um, so first things first. You want to go to Search Console and you want to first of all see whether your site is has any vulnerabilities. The easiest way to do that is type in Search Console in your Google search and you'll, you'll get to the Search Console. Once you're here, you're going to have to validate your website and your website has to be validated to make sure that you are the owner. Um, and you can follow the process on how to do that, but once you have that all set up, you'll have your website located right here. If you click on www.whateveryoursiteis.com, it'll take you to a dashboard. And this dashboard essentially shows you what your site has been doing statistically. The biggest thing to look for here is security issues. If you click on security issues, which is on the bottom left here, it'll tell you that currently we haven't detected any security issues now. Before we received a message from Google saying that there was a security issue, that we did have a vulnerability. So we had to go in there and fix that, right? Here it shows no security issues, so obviously we fixed it. So let me show you, if your site got hacked, how you can remove that hack. I'm going to go ahead and go to our WordPress site. I'm going to click on the next tab over which our WordPress. Now you have to log into your admin panel. Once you log into your admin panel, then you can. I would recommend you go to your appearance. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see there's an appearance uh, tab. If you click on the appearance and then go to editor, that'll take you to your WordPress's editor. And your WordPress's editor, this is a good opportunity to go in there and try to find any malicious code that may have been added to your WordPress. In our case, that is what happened. Someone added some malicious code into our functions.php, which is our themes function. And in any WordPress, if you're familiar with WordPress, or even if you're new to WordPress, the th all your theme functions are held in some type of theme function .php file or a, a function.php file. So if I go to functions.php, which right here says theme functions, and I click on that, it'll show the theme function for the theme that we currently have in WordPress. So as I look at this themes function, I can scan this whole file and look for anything, any discrepancies that either I didn't add or the original theme provider did not add on here. Now the way to tell is you would have to somehow compare the file that they have compared to what you have. On the very bottom, there was a function that had a specific uh, phrase in there called base64 encode. Now base64 encode is something that we use in PHP normally to encode binary uh, types of data. For instance, images, PDF files, things like that, to send over a pipeline so that on the other end, someone can decode the base64 encode and essentially have the same file. And it's something that we normally do, and, and I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but I'm just saying, it, just to make things easier, that's roughly what we use Base64 and code for. Um, and in our WordPress, we had a line in there that was a function that had Base64 and code, and it was hard to decipher what that was for, but I can guarantee you that our site because of all the other functionality and all the features that it has, it doesn't necessarily need that base64 encode. So I immediately realized that that was a hack. That was a, a potential code, malicious code that was added to our functions. Another way I was able to figure it out is because the the error that we had or the, the hack that we had, um, code uh, or um, our database was receiving several hits with specific information. So essentially the way WordPress works is the sites are all working off of a template. They're not necessarily storing the page themselves. The data of the pages are stored in the database and then with a call, the data is received and then a page is populated um, with that data. And so on our site, we had in our database, we had several input uh, pages um, for things like uh, 
you know, bi- you know, binary stock portfolio things or stuff that had nothing to do with our site. So it was obvious that someone was injecting stuff into our SQL. Now, it's hard to find out exactly what that code is. The first thing to do is check this. Check your editor. Go to your functions.php file. Go to the very bottom and see if you see any base64 encodes. Um, if you see anything like that, um, make sure you remove it. So you go in there, you remove the one line, and then the next thing you need to do, and I really would recommend this, is you need to add a plugin to your WordPress. And this plugin is very popular. It's one uh, that's often used in order to scan your site to make sure you don't have any malicious code in there or malicious issues. So I go to my plugins folder or tab, and you look to the through my plugins, and there's one plugin more specifically that I would recommend that you get, and it's called WordFence. Now, WordFence, um, let me go ahead and let me add a new plugin. And in the search to add a new plugin, I'll do WordFence. Hit enter. And it's going to populate a bunch of different WordFence plugins. But the one that I use is called WordFence Security. It's right here. And if you can see, I already have it installed. So imagine if I just click that and installed it onto my system, um, which I already have it in there, you'll get a tab on the bottom left as soon as you activate it, WordFence. So if I click on WordFence, what this allows me to do is it allows me to scan my complete site for any malicious code or any any discrepancies um, that are against WordPress's normal functionality or themes. Um, and so I already did a scan for you, but what you would do is where it says start a WordFence scan, you'd click there. Um, I'm going to, for the sake of time, uh, not click on it because I already did click on it and I already ran a scan um, because it does take some time. It runs through all of your files to find any vulnerabilities. So if you could see, I have here a scan summary. In the scan summary, it shows where all of the areas that are successful or secure. There's certain things that are disabled. Uh, there is a paid version of this um, that has more functionality. I don't have the paid version, so that's why you're seeing where it says paid members only. Um, but the thing that you're looking for, the more specific thing that you're looking for, is for anything that shows that you have malware or malicious code in your database or, or whatever. So in here, it says scanning database for function for infections and vulnerabilities. It says secure now, but one of the things that we found when we ran the scan is that we had some files that were injected into our SQL database, which provided that avenue for that Base64 encode to be able to populate certain data onto our database. This WordFence scan actually found that, and it showed down here that we had vulnerabilities. Now, you'll go down here, problem found. Problem found is what you would normally see if there was a problem, if there was something that it did find. Now, the great thing about this scan is in, in this box, it does nothing. It just displays to you what's going on. If you scroll down, you'll see new issues. And then in these issues, this is where you actually can make the changes or the necessary uh, uh, fixes in order to, to get rid of the, the hack. So if you can see here, I do have certain plugins that are need upgrading, uh, versions are out of date, things like that. Now, in our situation, um, our WordPress is used for marketing purposes. It's not necessarily the bulk of what we do. Our company does custom software. So we don't necessarily need to have the very latest and greatest WordPress. Um, the only time we upgrade or do anything like that is if there are vulnerabilities that are shown through the core. Uh, WordPress and and right now these these themes like we don't use any of these themes that's why they're you know they're not upgraded this plugin probably a up plugin we don't use but in either case in your situation you know what your site has and you know what you need to upgrade what you don't need to upgrade um, so what you do is you go through here now the one thing is you'll see is if you have malicious code in your database or you have certain malicious code anywhere else this will populate it and this will say you have something here you need to fix this and so you'll notice that it says click here to update or there's usually a button that says click here to solve the problem uh, once you click on that it will this plugin will automatically go through your files and actually clean them up for you so you don't necessarily have to know coding or have to know how to remove things um, from your site using code you can just use this plugin and it'll do it for you that's why I recommend this plugin. And that's exactly what happened to us. So the malicious code in our SQL database, I am not an expert in, in SQL to the fact that I can go in there and remove certain files out of SQL. That's just not my forte. So luckily with this, 
it was able to go in there and take out all those injected files that were inside our SQL. Now, the one thing I did know, because the one thing I am good at in SQL, is being able to go in there and actually clean up the database. So you have to clean up your database. If So in our situation, these uh, inputted SQL injections were all over our database. We had over 4,000 records of them. So I went in there and wrote a quick delete query that went through and deleted all of the 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 injected files because they were very specific they had specific tags specific uh, terminology some phrasing so it just used a regular delete sql statement if you need help with that um, you could definitely google search that um, there's ways that you could just delete uh, several rows from your database um, using you know simple delete queries um, now I would recommend that you seek an expert first because uh, uh, you don't want to go into your database and start deleting using delete queries if you don't know what you're doing because you could essentially delete all your data and you don't want to do that. So if you are going to attempt it, I recommend you back up. If you, um, but but I'm going to recommend first and foremost that you contact an expert. So. Like I said, you'll see here all of the vulnerabilities that you may have, and then you can use this to clean it up. So once you're done removing all of those vulnerabilities, then you need to go back to your search console over at Google. And in the search console, you can submit where it has over here where it's security issues, you'll normally have a little box that allows you to submit to for reconsideration that allows Google to go back and they'll scan your site to see if the vulnerabilities are completely gone. If they are, you'll receive a nice message from them saying reconsideration for requests, manual spam action revoke. So essentially what this is saying is we've gone back, we've gone through your site, and we see that there are no more vulnerabilities. So they remove the your site is hacked flag uh, from the search engine to allow people to, to feel more comfortable clicking on your website. So that's basically it. So if you have any questions or anything, again, um, this is Ray, a CTO from Grata. My phone number at Grata is 321-236-0011, or you can contact me at Ray, R-E-Y, at grataonline.com. And uh, hope you have a good day, and thank you for listening to this tutorial.